What's going on guys, it's boy Rook here on a very special day. A day that has not yet happened for many, many years. At least from what I remember, we have a double day ahead of us today, guys. We have Free Comic Book Day, May 4th, 2019. And today is Star Wars Day, May 4th, 2019. Woo! <clears throat> very, very happy to do this sort of double event with you guys. Um, normally, Star Wars Day would happen on a Sunday, which would be May 4th, and Free Comic Book Day was normally May 3rd. That's how it normally has happened for the last several years. I don't remember them falling out on the same day together as a unit for many, many years now. I'm really, really happy to shoot video for you guys, my viewers and subscribers, of this special day. Now, if you're not familiar with Free Comic Book Day, is basically a lot of local comic book stores have deals in place with a lot of the publishers and they'll get a stack of free books that you can get your hands on. Of course, this costs you absolutely nothing. Just your time to get these free comics. This is to basically build up the whole idea of comics in, in, our, in, our, in our lives. That's the whole idea. To have new readers get ingrained and engrossed in these products. That's the whole idea of Free Comic Book Day. You have your gold books and your silver books. Just because something is silver doesn't mean it's not good. It, they have a lot of great titles for the silver books and they have a lot of book, good books for the gold books. Usually you're entitled to about four to six books a person. They have all sorts of titles, Marvel books, DC books, IDW, Valiant. A lot of your classic comic uh, publishers are be putting out products. Also, Free Comic Book Day is the kickoff for a lot of these special events that really happen and really flashpoint on Free Comic Book Day. It's the only way to get these books are Free Comic Book Day books, and they might sell them down the, down the road as purchasable items, which is the same identical book. But usually, Free Comic Book Days, you can get that book ahead of time before the event really has kicked off. So it's, it's sort of like the beginning point, the alpha stage of this whole event. A lot of times, DC has done this and Marvel has done this. I know there's a new Avengers book that's coming out, particularly because of Free Comic Book Day. I'm not sure with DC, at least from what I know of. I know Marvel has a new Avengers book coming out. And for the people who have not seen a Free Comic Book Day video that I've shot, or a Comic Con video i put together, I shoot in a very specific sort of style. I don't say a word during this particular video. I showcase a lot of cosplayers, and I have music interspersed through the entire video. And I do that on purpose, so you sort of get a feeling of, of what the whole environment is all about. I also get there about an hour early before they start building anything, how they construct everything up to give you bonus footage at the tail end of this particular video so stay tuned at the end of the video for the bonus footage that I'm putting together the whole free comic book day event that's the whole idea of this video guys now last but not least are the collectibles that's the main reason a lot of people want to go to free comic book days to get these special collectibles that you cannot get anywhere else first and foremost is the Marvel Diamond Select uh, symbiote spider-man he's a statue uh, about seven inches tall about forty five dollars US a very similar company that I picked up for the Batman who laughs in a full video about that particular guy. I'm not interested in it, but it is available only at this particular event. That's where it kicks off here. Next is the item I really, really, woo, really, really want to get my hands on. It's a PF exclusive John Constantine Hellblazer, which it takes sort of precedence from the Constantine TV show that we had several years ago. It's short-lived. It only happened one season. It's a scene where his hands are on fire. Uh, I think it was the end of the pilot episode, if I remember correctly, of his hands on fire. That's the Funko Pop I'm going to be getting my hands on. Absolutely. I want that one very, very badly. And they also have Cryptozoic is putting an item out, which is not a little bombshell, which is a four for the last two years, we've had special little bombshell figures. They're doing their tiki's based off the Red Sun property. It's a two-pack of both Superman and Wonder Woman. I don't know if I'm going to pick it up yet. I have to look at it. I have to get it in hand. I'm not entirely sure. All these items are purchasable at Free Comic Book Day. And I believe if they have any stock left, they'll roll it over to, to their normal retailer uh, people after the event. But I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to get the tiki's yet. I haven't made up my mind. And they have a special Iron Man Hero Clicks figure, which is only available at Free Comic Book Day. There's new, so new sculpt and they have a lot of uh, I think uh, clear parts based off that particular figure. So I'm heading out to free comic book day guys. Wish me luck. I'm going to be shooting some really really great video for you guys. Stay tuned. Awesome videos on the way.
again, he hooked us up with the really awesome Predator and Alien, sort of the uh, treasure hunt effect. Um, new piece of Venom, I haven't seen this, it's a new piece he has, I believe. Some newer ones. Uh, brand new, yep, brand new Spider-Man, Enter the Spider-Verse it looks like. Awesome. And this is the piece he worked on last week, Comic Book Day, this awesome uh, put together piece of the Avengers. So, uh, good stuff. Uh, here's his pricing. I'm going to be getting a couple of pieces from him, and we'll conclude with that at the end of the video. So, Rob, thank you very much for bringing some really good stuff again to Free Comic Book Day. Thanks for coming by, man. Yeah, it's, we're working on a couple of new things. Spider-Verse movie, so inspired by it, and so that's what came out. Uh, I am Groot. This is so much fun because there's so many 80s references and video game references. Based off Ready Player One. All the, yeah, based off Ready Player One, all the kind of stuff that I love just growing up playing games, being a child of the 80s. Absolutely. And, uh, also, this, one, this one's also kind of new. It's Killer oh. Blue shirt. Is that, do you have an art print of that one? Yeah, I have an art print Woo! of this one. Woo! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Woo! You can have a print of this, and you can also pick this up at, uh, if you go to robrip.com, there's a link, uh, Rift Apparel. They do awesome quality shirts. Awesome. You can actually get one there. That, it's going to be picked up. Thank you very much, Rob. Yeah, you got it. Thank, Thank you. Rest.
All right, guys, free comic book day over at Tate's Comics is complete, and it was a different sort of event compared to what I thought it would have been compared to last year. We had two special days rolled into one. Of course, free comic book day and May the Force Be With You Day, Star Wars Day, rolled into one particular event. There were no cosplayers here, none whatsoever. I got there about 9 o'clock in the morning as far as the time when I shot this video until about a little afternoon, noontime uh, on Saturday. For about three hours I was at this particular event and not one cosplayer was dressed up in any sort of outfits. Very, very surprising to me. Last year at sort of the same time, we had tons of cosplayers. I even talked to some of the staff and they said there was a lot less attendance this year than it was last year. So that's very disheartening to me. I wish there was some cosplayers. Unfortunately, I couldn't shoot any because there weren't any attending this particular show. So what did I pick up? Some really cool stuff. Um, first things first, I didn't pick up any of the free comic books only because I had to run and do some errands. I had to leave a little bit earlier than I would have liked. I picked up some artwork over at Rob Reap. I talked about him uh, at, at during the video itself, I showcased some of his uh, artwork, and of course, if you wanted to see his card, it's right there, Rob Rip, robrep.com. Really love his artwork, a local talent, goes to a lot of the local shows, really like his stuff. Uh, first thing is first, I'll take a picture up close of all the artwork I picked up. It was uh, buy two, get one free for him. One was this really awesome Avengers print he did for Endgame. Uh, he was doing this last year. I've seen the black and white layouts that he had for this. I'll take an up close shot so you can see it. Uh, next was Jon Snow, the Targaryen. This is a new piece i never seen him have before. Uh, very reminiscent to the old school Conan Marvel books that came out years and years ago. Again, I'll take another shot of it up close so you can see it. But the real piece I really wanted, he had a shirt of it on. I showcased it in the video. I didn't know he had this art print. It's reminiscent to Queen. Me and my girl have a big connection to the Queen band. Uh, it's Killer Queen, which was a piece of an artwork, a layout of an original cover album that was done by Queen years ago. And I love this piece going into the comic, uh, going into my sort of comic artwork uh, portfolio I get for all shows. Next, I picked up a pop, talked about it, I wanted to get. It's the Constantine Pop, the PF exclusive, limited 20,000 pieces, free comic book day exclusive piece from Constantine. Um, I talked about it at the beginning of this particular video. I really wanted to get my hands on it. Uh, I thought it looked really, really good. It's an awesome piece. I really recommend anyone who's a fan of Hellblazer, of Constantine, the TV show, you might want to get this Funko Pop. Uh, he looks really, he looks so good. So, so good. He has his hand on fire with a little lighter over here. I'm probably going to do a full review of this guy. I'm thinking about it. I haven't decided yet. So um, let me know in the comment section, should I do a full review, full breakdown of the Constantine Pop? Uh, I thought it was a really good pop. I saw it coming out. I knew about it. I did take a picture of one of the other items which they had at the uh, uh, event, which of course was the uh, Tiki's, the Cryptozoic Tiki's, uh, which was an exclusive as well. But the Red Sun Tiki's, I didn't pick up that two-pack. I showcased it a little bit so you can saw it. It was behind the counter. I think it was $20, $25. This guy, if you were curious, was $20 US, $19.99 for this guy. Usually exclusives, and coming from a comic book store, they usually charge a little bit a higher increased price. They mark up the price of this guy. Um, in my personal opinion, I don't think he's $20. I think maybe, at most, there's a price right there if you're curious. I think he'd normally be about $14.99, but they charge higher for this because it's an exclusive, it's free comic book day. That's the reason why they up the price. Now, as far as comics I mentioned, I didn't pick up any of these special uh, free books. I, I picked the list out, but I had to run out of the store. I did pick up some comics, though. Uh, first was the Year of the Villain. This is a new one-shot, 25 cents. Uh, it looks to be a, sort of an anthology of different stories from what I flipped through it that's going to be happening throughout DC uh, Comics for this coming year. That's what they do for the free comic book day. They kick off special events. Uh, I've been, I haven't read it yet. I'm in the process of reading it when I get all nine books. Heroes in Crisis number eight. Pick that one up as well. I haven't started it yet. Uh, a variant for Green Lantern number seven, which picked up that item right there. And there's a brand new DC series that came out. Uh, I'm going to pick up all six books. It's their take of Marvel zombies in DC. It's called Deceased. This is the variant cover of Batman. Hopefully you can see it. Apologies for the glare. Let me pull back a little bit so you can see it. Uh, DC's is like their take is a techno organic virus that gets released. Has to do with the Justice League and Dark Side on Apocalypse that infects uh, Earth and it's sort of like a zombie sort of plague, sort of like Walking Dead in the superhero universe. That's kind of what it is there. So.
time for a quick walkthrough during the construction uh, free comic book day. Uh, this is kind of what it looks like as we're setting everything up. Look around here. And we'll get, hopefully you enjoy the original setup of it during the beginning portion of this video.